Alright, hey guys. Uh, it was Honor Devin, aka RA the Fanboys. I'm just hitting up some Forza 4. Uh, I'm going to do a series of videos on how to drift and how to tune your car to drift. Um, this one, I'm going to show you how to tune a, draw, a, tune a car to drift from scratch. Um, now basically you're going to want to I'm going to I'm going to just go ahead and buy a car scratch uh I mean you need to you need to get when your first car or like when you're first learning how to tune it's best to get some kind of car that uh you know everybody tunes on like some of the Hondas uh I don't know everybody makes ricers you know out of Hondas and stuff for drifting but the NSX or those are like the those are pretty good to drift some of the you know high like really good drifters drift those um the i think the best one to start out in is probably a nissan because i don't know i love drifting nissan they have the 350 370 and all the gtrs you can drift um this uh wait where is it the yeah this one the skyline gtr v spec 2 this one i like started out drifting on and it pretty much wrecks so if you get it drifting just right yeah, now I just buy it, uh, you know, whatever color you want. I, I like the blue, so I just I just kept the blue. Um, hold on. Oh, yeah, let me explain. Uh, on your tune setup, you're going to want to have a basic tune setup, something that just looks right, something that feels right on just about every car. Uh, my basic tune setup, it kind of varies just on what I feel that day, I guess. Um I'll just kind of just throw some numbers in there or whatever. The best thing to do is just go through these. Um, depending on what it is, you know, Spore Air Filter. I always do a race um, fuel system and race ignition for and even the exhaust. I'll put race most of the time. And all this stuff, you want to either do street or sport depending on depending on um, how high your car will get. You're going to want to keep it S-Class. So, like, um, like, you won't, most of the time you won't need turbo or supercharger, because sometimes that just overpowers it, um, you always want to, gonna, want to put your, um, your weight reduction all the way up and a roll cage, you know, I mean, some people don't put roll cages, oh, let me put the rear wheel drive, you always, if you're gonna drift, you need a rear wheel drive, all, whatever, hold on, let me check, make sure, because sometimes when you change uh, that, it will change some of your uh, other stuff. But most of the time, drivetrain won't, unless you already choose your transmission and stuff. Because none of that really has to do with your engine. Um, I'm going to try some turbo, but I'll probably end up having to uh, change it because I'll, I'll, it'll probably go up too high and make it a R1. I mean, R3. Yeah, weight reduction all the way up. And then a roll cage. Um, and then these, you always want race on them, because if you don't have race, you're not going to be able to, um, change them to whatever, you know, you're not going to be able to edit them, it's just going to be a set height, set, um, brakes, everything, um, and your transmission, you're going to want to put it all the way up, oh, I think it changed, uh, and these, drive chain, oh, sport, race, whatever, you could do either one. Um, differential, I know it says red, shows red, but I always put a two-way differential, just, just because that's just, I don't know, that's just how I run, um, most real fast cars, like this, you're gonna wanna put a, uh, either street or sport tread, race tread is on those that are just like, either if you're running an R, an R1, R3 car drifting, most people prefer S, uh, Oh yeah, these rims, I don't know, I just, these just look good, and they look good on pretty much every car, so I'll put those on there, and they have a good weight reduction. Uh, it's an R3, so I'm going to have to go back and change. But, um, probably take the turbo down. Uh, street clutch. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Oh, I have all these on 100% discount because my Nissan, I always drift a, or I did drift my Nissan a lot, so let me put body kits on, probably go with the, I don't know, Nismo anything that's like, like anything.
everything with Nissan, which is Nismo. Nismo is Nissan. So it, most of the time that looks better on the car, but just depending on your taste, whatever. You can even mix and match. Some of the other ones, they look like you can get a back end that looks better with, like, you can have a Nismo front, June back, and then a top secret side skirts, whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and do uh, all Nismo, I think. Uh, but yeah, um... None of, and some of these, uh, oh yeah, let me put a Nismo on this one. Uh, and some of them look better together, like they don't look, I don't know, they look. Um, spoilers, um, you either want to gonna make one that look gets small or not, I don't know, like I like, I don't like the ones that stick out all big like someone on a rice wood like that. Um, the Forza ones, they're adjustable, whatever, okay, that's good, but, yeah, they kind of mess up, they just, I don't know, they, they always mess up your ride, I don't know, like, I, like, I've had drag racing cars, and I put those on there, and adjusted them, and my car was, and I took them off, and I, I could do a mile, like, a couple seconds faster, okay, your, um, your, uh, tire pressure, you're gonna want it low, because, you know, everybody's like, oh, well, in real life, you'd have, like, you know, whatever, tire pressure 50 or something. Well, on the game, you're going to want to have like a 29, 28.5 in the front, probably like a 27. You're going to want to have them like a a whole PSI apart. I mean, I mean, uh, that's not a big deal, but uh, yeah, whole PSI. Um, you're going to want to set your camber. Uh, they're going to be opposite. So in the front, you're going to want negative, and in the back, you're going to want positive. Um, your toe in, I always like to put my uh, front toe out, you know, because you're going to want, when you're, when you're doing that, um, turning to the right and left, and you're, you're going to want to be able to recover from your drift easier, you're going to have to want to toe out more, but then you want your back to resist, so you're going to want to have toe, toe it, uh, in, or I think, I, I don't know, I'll put it out, maybe, so it drifts more in this car, I think it was just different, um, I always put my ride height two above the lowest. You know, you can change it with a front or whatever. I like to have uh, my rebound stiffness or whatever. I like to have all that kind of lower. So, like, when you're drifting, if you hit a bump, it'll just kind of take it. And it, it won't mess up your drift as much. If you have it stiff, you'll just pop up from it and mess up your drift. Um, your differential, you're going to want it pretty high. You want to set them about 2 or 3, maybe even 5% off from each other. I don't know, whatever you feel is right. The higher you go, the faster your car supposedly goes. Um, to, you're going to want to do it on um, test drive, just because you can tune it while you're doing it. Uh, I usually go to Sedona and do the club circuit, just because it's it's good drift line. Uh, we do a, I used to do a bunch of drift battles on here and stuff, because... There, it's just a good simple line, and like you don't, you're not, you're not having to go across the whole track just to find like three or four turns that are together and have a drift battle on. And then, then, then this one's more easy to set up uh, judges and stuff on. So, um, like, yeah, I'm gonna probably gonna have to give it some more tread or something. It's it's real loose. See, see how it like it almost loses control right there. I'm in fourth gear. You're gonna want to have, you're gonna want to have high RPMs in third, but you're gonna want to have them real high. So it's like you only, you only want your car to be able to go like a hundred, hundred and ten at the most in third gear, so that when you're in a drift going like, I don't know, sixty or so, you're gonna have a real high RPM so you can get your those tires spinning. Um. Your uh, final drive, you're going to want to have it pretty low so it shifts it all to the left and you'll have those high RPMs because the lower the speed you have in that gear, the uh, the higher RPMs you're going to have when you're in the drift. So um, after you have your basic tune, most of the time you're not going to want, you're not going to need to change anything else besides the transmission and the gearing. Um, I just had like final drive, that's going to put more RPM if you lower it, if you higher it. You're not going to get as much rotation. So if you're real loose, you're going to want to pump that fi final drive up, and then I'll even out all of them. A lot. Some people will just tune, tune like 
the gear they're gonna drift in, like for a second, say they drift in third like me. Well, I'll like they'll just drift. They'll just put it up maybe fourth. They'll have a fourth gear where they can drift in fourth, and that's it. But most of the time they're drifting third. Fourth is just if you know they're opening wide open. But then their fifth and sixth will be like some ridiculous gear, or it doesn't go with it. Or if they go into gear, like they'll be going real high RPMs in fourth, and then all of a sudden go because they have it so high. Uh, I'm gonna have to take the turbos down. It's just too much power. Uh, um. I think, um, let me see, I'm going to put these on, let me see, that makes it a R3, so I'm going to have to just take the turbo off, because it really, it needs more grip on it, um, I'm going to have to put it on just known, most of the time you don't need those, but sometimes it makes a good sound, if you can control it with them, you know, more power to you, I can control it with them too, but just on some cars when they like because this one's already started out as an a-class if you have one that starts out as a, a b or some a c you can put those in it more than most of the time because you're, you have a longer way to go to get up to an s class um no, that's the only thing bad about test driving is you can't change your uh what's in the car you only could change your tune but most of the time when you get your basic uh, tune setup down, your only thing you're going to have have uh, to change is your um, is your uh, gear ratios in your transmission. But that's why you get a, uh, a um, what's it called, a uh, uh, race transmission, because you can, um, you can, tune it. If you get the other ones, it just stays the same as always, so you're never going to be able to change it. Well, yeah, it does pretty good lines. I'm probably going to have to change some more stuff on it. But, um, just for, uh, showing you how to tune purposes, it's, uh, it's pretty good right now. Probably going to drop the Most of these you can change, you know, little by just a point. See how I'm evened out where they look like they, they're they spaced out, like, all the same? Um, let me fix it a little bit better. Because if you're not drifting the other ones, it doesn't really matter where they're at. But you want them to have them tuned enough where if, say, you wanted to put your car in a race or whatever, your race drifting, you want to have a good high speed. So on straights and crap, you can... Put it up in six if you need to and keep it down. Keep the hammer down and then when you're going to drift, you can just click it down back into third or whatever. I'll go over, um, I'll do a video on how to drift. I'll go over when to shift and stuff like that. Because the only way to drift, the best way to drift is manual. Because if you're an automatic, it's just going to, when you're hitting those high, R, high RPMs and stuff, it'll just sit there and um, change gears and all that. Uh, here, let me try this out and see if it I mean, that was a pretty good tune I had. I just need to, just need to test out a little bit more. It's a little too loose. Oh, crap. Let me get this. Sorry for the, if there's noise in the background. My dad's mowing the lawn right outside my window. Um, yeah, it's still kind of loose. Uh, if your car ever gets something like this, and even though you tune it or whatever, that's why it's good to be on a club circuit or anything like this, cause um, you can just go straight back. You can just go into the pits. Uh, let me try it. You can go. I'm gonna let me turn it again real quick. I don't think it's had enough wear, cause on Forza Four you don't really get that much wear, as in Forza Three you just like burn out and you're already in like point three wear, because like uh like on my I think it was my 350Z I had in Forza Three. I would uh, put it on point three. I mean, not point three, three point oh wear or four point oh wear. I'd sit there and burn out until I'd get it, and then I could drift perfect. Cause uh, I don't know, three fifty Z has it takes a lot. Of, it, it's not it's it doesn't put as much power to the wheels as it does to the engine. It's a real low. You can tell by the way the exhaust sound, just the way the car sounds, just like when it sounds real low like that. You'll uh, you'll need to get some wear on those tires or 
drop it down and tread. Oh uh, yeah, this seems a little better. See, I didn't even have to go through the... I didn't really need to go through the, um, what's it called? The thing. Right here, just to show you what I'm doing, I'm gonna put this in. Yeah, wait, let me check the temperature. You can see on the side of whether I'm pressing the... Still just show you what I'm doing. Alright, let me check the uh, temperature and the wear. Yeah. Oh no, I'm, I might go through the pits here. Oh, I'm sorry about backing up for so long. I always, always like to do a 180 out of my last turn and back it up to where I'm going to stop. I always start from right here. But... Oh yeah, this, this will show you though. I'll show you what, uh, if you look on the left side, you can see what I'm doing, like, what I'm pressing, what I'm drifting. Uh, but another thing, I think third, third is the best gear, in my opinion, to drift in. Most people I know drift in third. Um, if you're going to do tight corners, like on Fujimi or something, like on those little ones, you're going to probably want to drift in second. When you're first starting out, uh, here comes a lot. 60, uh, what's it called? Yeah, just, um, just pretty tuned like that. It's pretty good. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run through the, um, through the pits just to, uh, just to make sure it's like, just like, say, if I start off the line and see if I can drift. Have a, when you run it through the pits or whatever, you know, you can. It'll put it, everything, you'll put your tires and engine, everything that, you, if you messed up, um, back to original, if you just drove out of the shop or whatever, except for, unless you, like, hit, like, um, like, get a dent in your car or scratch it or whatever, hitting it on the wall, it won't replace that. So, sometimes your aerodynamics will mess up, but that don't really affect you as much as on the game as in it would in real life, I guess. Um. Sorry, the pits are kind of taking forever. They have set speed. Okay. Um, here we go. Let me try to see this. Yeah. I always drift about going 60 or 70, depending on how long the turns are. Uh, I can hold this line pretty good because I practice on it so much that, um, you know, for drift battling, I just love, I like, I love to drift battle on this map, because I get crap on people on it, um, yeah, I'd always do those 180s like that, and one guy in a drift battle I was in, he got all mad and said, I spun out, I was like, dude, I did that on purpose, bro, <laughs> he was trying to get me, like, well, I didn't win the battle or whatever, but, yeah, I'm gonna drift it back one more time, see if it holds, like a fast car like this, it burns a lot and uh, real loose. It's good for drifting, like drift battles, where you just have a couple turns, like maybe four turns in a row like this. Uh, or I think it's four, four or five, whatever. But um, it, the, the the tread will wear down, and you won't get enough uh, get enough uh, you know traction to keep going drifting. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that's How to Drift on Forza 4. Thank you for watching. Add, subscribe, watch my other videos.